uh, from Anglers. We're out here in Queenstown doing a little bit of goose hunting this morning. Um, so just to start, we're just gonna kind of go over what we did with the rig. Uh, we got about four dozen decoys out here right now. I'll usually run a little bit more than that, like six, seven dozen. Um, but the way the wind is right now, we have to hunt this um, kind of portable blind I got set up over here. So as you can see, it's right on a wood line. We want to leave about 20 yards from the blind to where we set up the decoys. Otherwise, it's just not really natural to have geese going right up to the woods. They're so, not woodland creatures. Yeah, they don't like, they don't like that. The woods. That's where their predators hide. <laughs> <laughs> so we we're about 20 yards from there, um, from the blind, I should say. We got about 18, um, maybe 24 decoys over on the right. About the same over on the left. Um, and we kind of left a nice hole in the middle here. I think he's kind of spinning around, showing you guys. Yep. And now we have this nice hole in the middle. So but the wind this direction is, is blowing directly across the field. Yes. From Thank behind you for our back. Out. So and you want the wind at your back. The geese are going to land into the wind. Um, so yeah, we have a hole right in front of the blind. Decoys to the side. Hopefully we can get some geese and they're gonna land right in front of the blind for us. So let's see how this goes. So as you can see here, this pair of geese gave us a look. Sometimes patience pays off. Sometimes the geese need to give you a few circles before they commit to the decoys. Yep, probably could have shot those two geese, but we wanted to see if they give us another circle and come around and fully commit to the decoys. Kill them. Are you kidding me? Hey, sometimes we miss. Kill him, kill him. That'll fill the limit. Yep, that's the last two birds we needed. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, as you can see, we had a pretty good morning. Decoys worked well. Uh, take these birds up to the house, pick up the decoys, and we'll show you how to breast out a goose. Yep. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys. Now, after the hunt, we're going to show you how to breast some geese. So, we have a nice old goose right here. Um, so, what we're going to do first is take some of the feathers off the front to expose the skin underneath. So you can get the, to the breastbone right there. Take a knife, just kind of make a little incision to cut that skin. Take your fingers and just kind of peel back the skin. It just come just like so. like that. Sometimes you might need a little knife to give the skin a little bit of persuasion. Just like that. And you got your exposed breast right there. Then what we're going to do is go right along the breast bone of the knife. Just down like that. And then just kind of feel around the bone. 
and just kind of carve it off like almost like you're filleting a fish. And get all that extra meat there. Go down. Just like that. And then cut it down there. And it should just be able to come right off the skin. Cut. Just like that. And there it is. There's your goose breast. You want to take all the feathers off, put it in some, usually some salt water, some ice salt water, like we're doing right there. And that's all you got to do. And you proceed with the other side and you're good. Thanks, guys.